Hello everyone, welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. Some of you have been requesting me to create a case study video on purchase order requisition cycle time delays. So this request I have been receiving from lot many people. So today I have decided to create this video. So in an MNC, the purchase order creation has become a very time consuming and a rework prone process. It generally used to take 30 days to create a complete purchase order. Due to this delay, the team was not able to order some of the products which was delaying their overall shipment and this was costing the organization huge amount of money. Team wanted to reduce this PO creation tag from 30 days to 10 days. So it is important to hear the voice of the customer and the voice of the business before anybody starts a project. So if we are only listening to the voice of the customer, the business will suffer. If we are only listening to the voice of the business, there will be no customers to serve. So we need to strike a balance and hence both the voices should be heard together and we have to put them on one slide so that we can analyze both of them together. So in our case, the business is the management team and the customer is the internal requesters or the buyers of the product from the organization. So this is an internal project. No end customers are involved voice of the buyer or the requester is they want to receive the products on time with no error and what was their issue the issue was that they were receiving these products very late and what is the critical customer requirement so to reduce the PO creation turnaround time that gives us CTQ which is to reduce the PO creation tag from 30 days to 10 days and now when they listen to the voice of the business it said that to get the products on time was again the voice of the business management also wants these products to reach us on time and the issue was that these products were getting late and the overall shipment which was due for the end customer was also getting late so the critical business requirement was to reduce the PO creation time and hence critical to process is CTP is to reduce the PO creation tag from 30 days to 10 days so this is what both the customer and the business wanted so hence this project was given a go ahead the next thing the team did was to create a project charter project charter has six elements i have been talking about project charter in last so many videos so business case problem statement goal statement scope of the project milestones and team charter are the six elements of the project charter in the problem statement they measured data for last six months and they saw that PO creation cycle time is 30 days that the goal that they took was to reduce this time from 30 days to 10 days by June 2017 this is a smart goal statement specific measurable attainable relevant and time bound mentioning a time in a goal statement is very important if there is no time then it could be an endless project after this the team created high level process map in the form of COPIS so the customer is the supplier or the business unit or the tax team and the output is the purchase order and the process is the requisition queue distribution, buyer requisition preparation, buyer sourcing to PO, tax approval, requisition dispatched and requisition sent to the supplier. And the input is that requisition or quote or email approval or requisition queue. And the supplier of this information is ERP system requesters, buyers or tax team. So why we create a COPIS is because there are so many cross-functional teams involved and everybody is not aware of this particular process which we are trying to improve. So in one slide it gives the entire picture of the process, who is the customer, what is the output expected, what is the input that is going into the process and who all are the suppliers of this information in one go to everybody so that everybody is on the same page. Next, the team did was to identify the causes, potential causes of high PO creation cycle time. And some of the potential causes under process were no process documentation, it is a manual process, multiple process steps are involved, under people, the tenure of the person, the knowledge gap that the people had, processor or the associate could be a reason for the delay, and under machine, no central requisition in the system and missing supplier information were some of the causes. Under procedure, dollar on the PO could be one of the reasons. Different business units could be one of the reasons. 
and shift day or night shift could be one of the reasons people working in night shift can take more time or day shift can take more time the next thing the team did was to create a data collection plan and they collected data on some of the axes let us go to mini tab and analyze those axes so you can see cycle time in column c2 time taken to do signatures on the po right on the requisition form by the approving authority could be one of the factors business unit could be one of the factors as we have seen in the root causes and value bucket could also be one of the reasons like po with less than this amount is getting processed faster or getting processed late these are the three root causes that we are going to test on project y before we identify which hypothesis test that we have to perform first we have to identify the nature of project y so nature means whether it is normal data or non normal data to test that we go to stat basic statistics graphical summary under variables we will enter cycle time and click okay so the p value of 0.553 indicates that it is normal data so this p value should be greater than 0.05 to say that data is normally distributed hypothesis test depends on the type of project y whether it is normally distributed or non normally distributed the next thing that we have to do is to find out whether there are any special causes present in the data or not for that we will go to stat quality tools and run chart under single column we will enter cycle time under subgroup size we will press 1 and we will click okay all the p values of clusters mixtures trends and oscillations should be greater than 0.05 to say that there are no special causes in the data so our data is stable now we can go ahead and perform the hypothesis test the first x that we are going to test is time in signatures it is a continuous x because time is continuous data so the test that we are going to perform is simple linear regression so for that we will use stat regression and fitted line plot under response y we will enter cycle time under predictor x we will enter time in signatures and we will click okay the r square adjusted value is greater than 65% it indicates that cycle time and time taken in signatures are significantly correlated if we have to reduce the cycle time we have to reduce the signature time so if we reduce the signature time automatically cycle time will come down that is what this chart is indicating moving on to the next x which is the business unit so business unit is a discrete x with four variables a b c and d and my y, y is continuous and normal the test that i am going to perform is one way anova test and the path for that is stat anova one way under response i will enter cycle time and under factor i will enter business unit and i will click okay in this case p value is greater than 0.05 which indicates that this is not a significant x so business unit is not a significant contributor to cycle time if i look at the business unit data almost all the means are similar means 31.21 31.54 32.32 and 32.70 are the respective means which are not statistically different so hence this is not a significant contributor moving on to the next x which is the value bucket my y is continuous and my x is discrete again i will use one way anova i will press control e and i'll reach to the previously used screen in mini tab i have spoken in so many other videos on this as well under response i will keep cycle time but under factor i will change this to value bucket i will double click on this to select and i will click okay p value of 0.000 indicates that it is a significant contributor means we have to look at the value bucket data now see whenever it is less than 2k it is taking 19 days 
and whenever it is greater than 10k it is taking 39.139 days to process a PO which means we have to work on this particular X. After identifying some of the significant X's team created improvement plan. The first one was to they have to work with the enterprise resourcing planning ERP system teams to automate the distribution of requisitions based on coding, dollar amount and other things. Some categories that do not require manual intervention to be auto sourced. So that was a big change that the team was bringing in. Create a web platform to get signatures on the requisitions by approvers. So earlier the, re the requisitions were going in the email to the approvers and they were taking a lot of time to approve that through email and sometimes these emails were lost and uh, sometimes they were delayed because the approver was not there on the desk and things like that. When the web form was created, the approvers were able to see them on their mobile phones and they were able to approve it there and then. That was a big change that the team brought through the project. And they also wanted to increase the capacity of the senior managers to approve PO up to $50k. Earlier they had the capacity to approve dollar value up to 10k and about 10k it was going for AVP's approval or VP's approval. Now the senior manager can approve till $50k and above that it will go to AVP's approval or VP's approval. So these are some of the changes which the team brought in and they were able to bring down the overall cycle time. Team has also collected cycle time data after improvements. Let us create a control chart and understand whether the process is in statistical control or not. So I am creating IMR chart here. For that we will go to stat, control charts, variable chart for individuals and IMR chart. Under variables I will enter after cycle time and we will click OK. So if you look at this control chart, individual chart is telling us that X bar which is the mean has reduced to 9.71 from 30 days. Now let us also create before and after data comparison. For that I have stacked data in Minitab. First I have put in before data under in column C2 and then after that I have added after data and in column C3. I have added the status. In front of before data I have entered before and in front of after data I have entered after. So let us create individual charts comparison only. So I will go to stat, control charts, variable charts for individuals and I will go to individuals. Under variable I will enter column C2 which is CT and under I chart options I will go to stages. I will enter status here. Click OK and OK. So now you can see the comparison of individual values in the same graph before data and after data. So before if you see the data was 31 approximately this line 31.94 and after it is 9.71 which indicates that the process has improved. So friends I'll stop here. I hope you like this video. And if you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. I will see you in my next upcoming video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.